Hello. I'd like to respond to some of your comments about Chapter 10. There were two major issues you as a class focused on. One, diversity in the workplace, and the other, work-life balance. We've all agreed that diversity is important in the workplace, but as someone said, you may have to break into the other group that is diverse from you. But as a classmate mentioned, it was a great feeling to learn from others about how they did things. Now, when I was with Royal Dutch Shell and in the U.S. State Department, I regularly had to work on globally diverse teams with people from multiple countries all coming together virtually to accomplish a common task. We had our challenges. Uh, there was a feeling that uh, while Americans would work on the weekends to get it done, certain nationalities in Europe wouldn't. And then that leads into the second, segues perfectly into the second popular topic, which is work-life balance. When I was with Shell, they would constantly do surveys to figure out where people were happy and where people weren't. And consistently across my decade there, work-life balance, lack thereof, was at the top of the list. Not income, but work-life balance. Because basically, when a company hands you a laptop and gives you access to their computer systems, and now they're using the cloud, so that makes it even easier, they expect you to work expect you to work when you go home. They expect you to work on the weekends. At least Shell did. I can tell you that as a teacher here at Fort Hayes, I am expected to work Saturdays and Sundays, which is fine because I enjoy, you know, creating materials and stuff like that. But take a look at my buddy in Houston, whose wife just had a baby. Langston is now three months old. And my buddy Dan never sees the baby. They get up, they take the baby to daycare because like many families today, it has to be a dual income uh, family to survive. Uh, mom doesn't like it. They come home, they pick up the baby. The problem is Dan has a second job at an airport and he's often called in at the last minute to go out and do his deed. In addition, being ambitious, he has a couple of what he calls little rental properties. And while I've never been involved in that, I've been around him long enough to know that that takes a lot of time and effort. On the weekends, he gets called in to the airport where he has to clean the corporate jets. So he's hardly ever seen his son. There's no work-life balance, but the work has to be done in order to keep the house and pay the, uh, the notes. So therein is a challenge that I doubt we will ever be able to fix.